What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another photography video. As you can see, I'm in my basement. I got some black light pops. Let's get everything set up, take some photos. All right, so as you can see, I've got the Target exclusive black light Funko Pops. Um, got Captain America. He's, uh, he's already set up right there on the old uh, backdrop type thing I've made. Uh, and basically what this is, it's a couple of uh, pieces of the pink foam that I have glued some uh, rubber tile to. So, uh, and I'm using the actual backdrop that you guys have seen in my videos here lately. Um, what I'm using for a black light source is a 24 inch black light bulb. Uh, it's actually the whole housing. It's 10 bucks at Walmart, so dirt cheap. So what we're gonna do is we'll go through a sequence. Uh, I'm probably gonna go ahead and unpop. Uh, matter of fact, I'll go ahead and unbox all the pops because once I get started and turn the lights off, um, I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see more of this angle and I'll try to talk you through the process. But in a situation like this, just go ahead and get them all unboxed first. I haven't opened the Spider-Man box yet, so um, I'll have to do that one. But I figured, you know, just get them all lined up, take some photos. I think these are really cool pops. I love the the paint and everything on them. I mean, check out check out Iron Man right there. How cool that is. And you can still probably see. Um, how cap he's actually lit up pretty good right now and i've still got the three studio lights up so once i turn the lights off you'll be able to see it i'll give you a little bit of a rundown on how i'm doing it um each person is uh each person does things differently but as of right now we're going to do a uh let me just check. I did a little preliminary settings just to see. Uh, right now I'm shooting um, almost one full second of exposure, which what that means is as soon as I hit the actual uh, shutter release button, it's going to stay open for one full second because the only light source that's going to be in here is going to be from this black light bulb. So, yeah. Yeah. It ought to be good, but we'll um, we'll just have to see how it is. So let me get the camera spun around. I'm going to turn the lights off. I'll let you look at it from this perspective, and uh, we'll take some photos. All right, so we got the lights off. Uh, I've got the pops lined up, all but Spider-Man. So I've, I'm pretty sure this setting should work, but let's uh, let's take a photo and see. I've actually got... The camera, so you should see it pop up in the viewfinder on the camera after I shoot it. So, I'll tell you what, here we go. Three, two, one. All right, that's not too bad. Let's take another one. Yeah, that's, that's not bad at all. That actually does look pretty good. Another thing we can do is actually click on the live uh, viewfinder. And I can actually make some changes. And you should be able to see, I'm scrolling up, see how much brighter it's getting. That's at 1.6 seconds of exposure. So I'm going to take this. There's 0.8 where we were at. There's 0 0.6. 0 0.5 really darkens it up. I think I'm digging that 0.8 maybe 0.6 yeah i'm gonna try 0.6 all right here we go three two one that actually looks pretty good all right so let me take a couple more and then we'll do a swap out when you go to all this trouble and it's not trouble it's just when you set things up, go ahead and take three, four, five of each figure before you actually take it down. All right, so that should be enough on cap. 
I'm gonna grab what I'm gonna do first before I ever take cap out. I'm gonna put Thor on the same plane, and I'm gonna use him to slide cap over, grab cap. So that should put Thor approximately in the same position. We just gotta tweak it. That's where the live view really helps out a lot because as you can see, Thor is a little different than Cap. So we're going to uh, tweak him a little bit as we go. All right, let me do a, let me do a test shot right there. All right, so Thor's got a little bit more color showing. So I'm going to drop him down to point half a second. That's not too bad. No, that's not bad at all. All right. Yeah, all right. I'm going to take him back up to point six. Um, grab a couple more. All right. All right, we got, we got Thor. All right, we're gonna take Doctor Strange. I'm gonna take Doctor Strange, put him in front of Thor. Pop Thor out. Get an idea of where Doctor Strange is. That way I can just slide him straight back. Uh, he's a little crooked. Let's see what that looks like. That's not, it's not too bad. We're getting there. Maybe back a little bit more and turn. That's not too bad right there. Take a shot. Yeah. The, the, the black light effect on these things are so cool. They're very cool. Okay, take another one, and one more. There we go. All right, so now we got Iron Man. Iron Man's gonna be a little bit skinnier than Doctor Strange, so he might actually frame up pretty good, pretty quick. Oh, gotta move him over a little bit. He's got a little bit more of a black light action going on. That's pretty good right there. All right. Take another one. Not bad. Let me take that down to 0.5. I'm digging it. All right, so let me get the um, let me get the lights flip back on, and then we'll talk a minute, and I'll go ahead and open up Spider Man. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that first segment. Um, and again, just get things set up, get things tested, um, get your camera ready, whatever you're going to use, your iPhone doesn't matter, and uh, get all your pops unboxed, find a spot, start taking photos, but. There we go, we got Spider-Man. Let's get him out. We gotta get we gotta we gotta get him photographed, right? And then what I'm gonna try to do at the very end is actually take a sort of a group shot. So oh wow. Check him out. Oh <laughs> I haven't seen him, I haven't seen him out of his box yet. He looks cool. Oh wow. Oh yeah, he is wicked cool, wicked cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do is get Iron Man out. I might have to readjust the camera with Spidey because since he's up on that pedestal, I'm just going to lift it up a hair. There we go, right there. Focal point up. Boom. All right. 
we're good to go. So uh, I'm just going to turn the lights off right here, let it keep running, let you guys see what's going on. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. That looks so cool. That looks wicked cool. I'm really digging this one because it's almost like he's uh, he's hovering. So this is too cool not to share. So I'm going to move the camera back here so you can see it in the viewfinder. So let me flip the lights back. I'll, I'll just be right back. All right, so we got the camera flipped around, and I'm telling you right now, it's still not going to do it justice, but look how cool he looks on this shot. I mean, it's just awesome. Let's take a few more. I mean, this is just, this is wicked cool. Right there. One more. Wow. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to get them all set up, and we'll try to take a group shot, and I will flip the camera around, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, we're back. I've got everything set up. Uh, I'm actually using, please don't hate me, I'm actually using Captain America's Funko Box to actually hold the black light strip up so it is parallel with all five figures slightly below my, uh, my camera lens. So uh, let's get the live view going again so you can see it. Let me get my shutter release. We'll get the lights off. That way you can see the full effect. Look how awesome these figures look. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Wow. That is just awesome looking. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take the lens and see if I can actually bring it back a hair right there boom looking good take a few more all right boom all right guys let me get the lights on and we will uh have some final thoughts and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about this session. All right, everybody. So I think that's going to wrap it up for this photography video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. This actually was the first time I've really got to uh, photograph black light objects. It's, uh, it's a great challenge. It's fun. It's very inexpensive. Uh, like I said earlier, the black light from Walmart's $10. I think it's $10.97. So... Uh, if you have any of these Funko Pops, I definitely recommend go to uh, Walmart and pick up one of those lights because it's 24 inches long. So it's the width of this work surface that we're, sh that we're shooting on right now. Uh, but definitely let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. Let me know what you think about the Pops. Um, yeah, this was fun, but that's it. I appreciate it. If this is your first time on my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you got notifications turned on. That way you'll know when I drop videos like this. But guys, I think I'm going to shoot some more photos. Till next time, always remember, toys refresh your soul. And I'll see you later.